Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel here. A little video on what I've been doing. Uh, first, I've been doing um, some uh, all nighters and some all dayers on these scale builds of gentlemen to get them done. And the reason I was doing that is. Uh, some friends and family have been bugging me about trying to set up my channel and in case I can make a few bucks. You know, it wasn't really my goal and it wasn't really my thing. But uh, I'm just getting real tired of not having any money for kits and paints and supplies and upgrading my video system here so I can get uh, the content I have make it better and get more content so after some thinking and talking and thinking I thought well let's give it a shot you know if I can make a few bucks that would be awesome get a few things I don't know if it'll really happen, if it ever will happen, but, you know, you, you, you kind of need to grow your channel, and you kind of need some green to grow your channel, so hopefully it kind of works in unison, I don't know, but, uh, so that's what uh, I was thinking, so I wanted to hurry up and get these guys done, because I tried setting up my channel, you know, all the stuff you got to go through, super confusing, uh, screwed up a few times, I couldn't couldn't post a video, couldn't do anything, and I finally got it fixed. So just in case I screw up for a while, I just wanted to get these finished and the video out because you know I, I was really looking forward to this build, and I wanted to get them done in case something happens and, it's, and uh, you know I'll be down for a while. I don't want to miss out on 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 uh putting these on my channel so that's uh that's where i'm at that's why i've been doing this and again you know i don't know if it's going to uh do anything or not but uh you know and then that's not the main reason i started it so my channel so you know but you know you got to do what you got to do if you need stuff you need stuff and if the opportunity's out there, you know, I might as well see if I can make it work, I guess. But I got two two uh, scale builds of gentlemen builds here done. Well, uh, my number was one, so I did a 1A, had to use the same number, and a 1B. And again, this build was put on by Paul over there, Styrene Relics. Haven't seen much from him. I hope he's doing okay. Got some health issues. Uh, not just the fall and the bruised ribs and all that, but some other issues. So, i thinking about him a lot. Hopefully he's doing okay. So, I'm sure we'll hear something from him here pretty soon. Uh, let us know how he's doing. But anyway, we'll do with the... 1B first because that was just a quick fun they're, they're both fun I just did more detail on one than the other one because I, I, I want to do something with this body it's that uh, Beverly Hillbillies I guess somebody said it was an Oldsmobile I think body it's just a really uh, weird looking body it's kind of long and it really tapers down narrow in the front so I thought that would be cool, and I just stuck it on an old, I guess that's like a Model A frame. Whoop, there with the hood. And the axle that come with it, and the front axle, and I left the wishbone front end the way it was and made a mounting plate there on the mounting plate for the engine motor there. So, and I put the four-cylinder in it. That's what come in that Beverly Hillbillies kit. I don't know if that's a real motor or not, but it's kind of it's kind of cool looking, kind of different looking. And that front end, I think that come with the with the Revell 
what, what was that, a 29 or something, I think, I don't know, but I thought that would look good on there. Just a good old uh, race of gentlemen looking build, they just kind of threw together what they had laying around the shop, went racing, steering wheel was out of, I don't know if that's an Impala or something, just in everything, everything from the parts box, gauge cluster, shifter to pin head, or, or a straight pin. Those seats, I think, came in that 56 Ford AMT. I drilled some holes in it. Got the seat belts in there. Got the roll bar. And I put a brass bar across there to kind of make it look like he had a last minute. Uh, decided to add another bar. And the gas tank is, is in the little turtle deck or whatever they call it there. And it comes up through one of the lightning holes. I put an actual tank in there, so when you look through the holes, you can kind of see it. And it's got the, there's some of those plates that I got from that gentleman. I should have had his name handy, but I don't. But I put that on there. It's kind of a club thing. And this is one, you know, you probably would trailer down to the beach and unload it and then drive down on the beach and uh, go racing. So, and I weathered it, just farting around, just some black, and it was gray plastic, and then some with a red primer, and then this, you know, he got off a different car, and that had silver underneath it, so it kind of looks like metal, it's rubbed down to the metal, and he found a nose from his buddy, and, and I threw that on there, and, and the hood, he painted flat black. Uh, but he couldn't get the rest of it done. No different kind of wire wheels in the back and the front. The center hubs are a different size, so I assume different years. So anyway, there's that one. It, it was a really fun build. These were both just extremely, extremely fun. Uh, this idea Paul had for this build was great. This one here is uh, what we started with. I showed you in the first couple videos. It's the AMT 29 Roadster body. And I stole the fenders from the black. I had a parts black widow. So I stole the front end, the front axle and the fenders from that. And the rear fenders. I was going to do the rear tires, but I found these in the parts box. Some old monogram uh, slicks. Well, they were, these are treaded actually. Because we're on the sand, so I want a little bit of tread. But they're bigger, but they look good on there. Had the had the uh, baby moon type. Uh, I think these are more like a wheel disc cover because they got a edge around the around the cap. I don't think actual uh, moon disc had a lip around it like that. So anyway, this thing here, I got a roll bar, just a piece of brass. Kind of be a little bit different there. Made a hoop out of it. And then we did the... We opened up. This has the same club plate on it. There's doubles in that stuff I got from that guy. So that worked out good. So these two guys race together. This one here is a... He can drive on the street if he wants. He just puts the windshield back on and the headlights. And he can uh, drive it home. So I got plates on it. got lightning holes. And then we opened up the... The uh, trunk here, I was going to prop it open, but I forgot. But I got the gas tank in there and the battery. Let's come a little closer here. And I got a little wall behind the seat there. A little brace going across. And the battery cables and a, and a fuel line. And I assumed the other one would be like a vent. Or something I seen a lot of tanks and I uh, trying to figure out what that was so I assume it's it's a vent and this one here this is just how the plastic was uh, when I got this body from my nephew Sean and uh, and the fenders just straight off the black wood I didn't do anything to him left the decals on them so it's like the guy went and bought them from his buddy off of another car we hand painted the 1A on there and put some little go fast stripe things on it. And we did the little linkage that comes out through the side. 
And it took the little uh, steering rod there. Let's see, wait, how do I pick this up here? And uh, bent that so the tire would have more clearance when, when he turned in real life, you know. And we got the brake lines on the front there, if you can see them. Kind of, there we go, right there. The brake lines goes into a little junction box thingy there. We got the plug wires and just kind of a hokey looking linkage thing there that kind of looks like it's something. I didn't get too crazy with that. And then on this side, we got the fuel lines. Fuel lines and they're coming up from a little little fuel block there. And the line from the tank comes up to that. Got the little battery cable or the battery cable going to the starter there. And a coil right there. That's just plastic uh, radiator hose uh, things. The the manifold is one of those. Uh, it goes on a single carb manifold, but it splits right there if you can see that and that i just used uh what did i use oh that's uh the radiator holes on some of the old amt kits for i forget what kit they came in but they uh they come off the engine block and then go into the radiator it splits well i just took that and cut it down and cut the top down whoops so you can get one of those split Sorry, split manifold things there. So that turned out pretty good. Uh, there you can see the brake lines down there. And the brake line goes across. So yeah, you can kind of see it right down there. They got a gold fan on there. The guy, you know, he just uh, just threw some parts out of this, getting it ready for the race. He had a 32 uh, radiator shell there. So he threw that on. Didn't have the grill, so he just took a piece of aluminum on there and drilled some holes in it. So he'd get some air in there. He's got some different heads on it, like racing heads. I think those are off the Monogram 40 Ford kit. And those carbs are molded together. They, they might be off the same kit, I'm not sure. But they're a little edgy, so that they're chrome. So, you know, the whole car is just, you know, that's some of these truck cars are just kind of edgy. And I cut that off the little steering thing that's uh, on a lot of the AMT 32s and stuff. And then uh, it's like piano wired, made that for like a little bushing. And then, you know, I did it all under the dash, but you can't really see it. You can kind of see the steering box down there. There and, and coming over, going out the side of the car. And I had to get my pedals lined up so they weren't in the way. And the gas pedal and the shifter goes right into the top of the of the tranny there. Like on a real car. And that's all, uh, that's uh, like uh, cardboard looking paper stuff on the floor and this is all plastic with some lightning holes in it and I kind of drew some door lines there uh, I should have done it in two pieces and I didn't so I should have just left them off and just said you know the guy jumps in over the over the top and doesn't use the doors but it kind of looks okay it got seat belts that's the seat belt material I've had forever them aftermarket buckles I've had forever that's about the only aftermarket thing from for models I have on everything else is just wire you get it like uh, a radio shack or whatever back in the day I've just had it forever and ever so that's what that is uh, steering wheel I don't know what that's off of but kind of maybe like a boat steering wheel or something or an old uh, Chrysler or something it looks really cool on there I tried scuffing it up a little bit. It's got a little nick in it there to make it not too perfect. But, you know, he got a good deal at the swap meet with it. So he decided to put it in there. The little gauge cluster, a couple extra gauges above the wheel. Column, turn column. And we got to have the big shifter knob. 
Again, that's a straight pin in the seat. I guess that's just like what come with it. I'm not sure. But uh, it, uh, I didn't really have any brown. So that's uh, the red primer color. And it turned out pretty good. And I kind of held it and scuffed it and scraped on it a little bit. So it looks a little worn. And I kept picking it up by the sides trying to wear some of the paint off on the numbers but didn't really do much but this is all natural uh uh patina for a model there uh i didn't add anything to it i loved it like it was i figured that looked pretty good i guess we'll up and get a better shot in there and that's a piece of uh whoops a piece of aluminum tubing there with like a baby moon hubcaps on the end of it and a little brace there lightning holes in it okay so then the chassis here well, we got your brake line i think you've seen those before brake lines with the junction box and all that whatever you call it go back to the rear axle and going across and the fuel line coming down on the battery cable and made little brackets for it mount to the frame. Did the same thing over here. And other than that, you know, it's just basically not painted or nothing. I hardly painted anything on this. Just left it all kind of like a natural old uh, old uh, jalopy type car. Some lightning holes in that piece right there. And the exhaust. Just the manifolds on the nuts. Those pieces there I found in my parts box. And they work pretty good. Then I glued a piece of aluminum tubing on the end. Made some mounts there. So it looks kind of a little more realistic. But again, this is all uh, parts box uh, stuff. There's nothing... I don't think anything from the same kit is probably the fenders. Everything else is just different kits. You know, maybe that carburetors and the head, heads are from the same kit. But... Uh, I just threw all kinds of stuff at it and had a lot of fun. Looked at a lot of trog pictures, getting an idea on how this style of a trog car is. And that's what I come up with. Just white walls in the back, you know, and the, and the wheel discs aren't perfect. They're scuffed up a little bit. So it just has the perfect look, I think, for, for the trog car I was thinking of. Get a nice shot of the rear there. Got tail lights on it. Again, you know, we took the headlights off and the windshield so we can go racing. So anyway, there's that. And there's the other one. Man, Paul, I had so much fun building these. Uh, I kind of kicked butt on them. I didn't, I didn't hurry. I just spent a whole lot of hours the last couple of days working on them to make sure I got them done. Because, uh, you know, we'll see what happens when I try doing that. Uh, rearranging my channel there. But like I say, I'm just, uh, you know, it's get, getting old not having paint and having the MacGyver things and stuff. So we'll see how this works. And then maybe I can get a better phone holder thingy because this thing here is barely touch it and it almost falls over it clamps and then i don't know it'd just be nice to upgrade stuff a little bit it would help the channel i think and help help me a lot that's for sure so we'll see so anyway i'm gonna mess with my channel and we'll see what happens and hopefully i don't screw things up too bad because it's all very new to me and there's lots of reading and lots of understanding and lots of trial and error. That's how I screwed up the other day. Right after the uh, Friday video, I started messing with it and I'm like, oh. And then I got it back. I'm like, oh crap, I better, I better let you guys know what's going on because I don't just want to end. I just don't want to all of a sudden, you know, well, what happened to Papa? There's no videos and... He's not saying anything, so this way at least you guys will know what's going on if something happens. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Kind of a long video, but I wanted you guys to know what's going on. Uh, Squirrely and I, we're going to figure things out here.
hopefully we get it figured out and you know if I can make a couple bucks uh, will be awesome if not yeah just keep plugging away again thank you Paul for putting on this build lots of fun uh, these are fun to build because you don't got to be all neat and careful and everything so and you know, like I say everything's out of the parts box no, these aren't actual kits with all this stuff it's just a uh, hodgepodge of all kinds of stuff kind of like the guys do it in their garage you know there's a lot of YouTube videos out there guys building these kind of cars and they just swap meat stuff and put it all together and go cruising or go trog racing or whatever they want to do so anyway I'm out here again thanks for watching guys I appreciate the support appreciate the subs uh, if you like what you're seeing you know sub to my channel I'd appreciate it very much give me a comment and a thumbs up and I share it with your buds and your grandparents and your nephews and nieces and all that good stuff all right so uh, we'll see you after I get things figured out and let you know how it goes so everybody take care I appreciate the support guys we'll talk to you later bye